Hello everyone. May Almighty God be with you, guide you and protect you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is, is breaking negative circle of pain and evil pattern. Hallelujah. There is circle in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. Life operates in circles where there are sequences of events. No matter how anointed or gifted you are, you will still have a weakness or challenges of life. Example is Abraham lied, Isaac lied, Genesis 12, 9 to 20, and Jacob also lied, Genesis 26, verse 6 to 12. We are all products of a background, so there is all tendency that we experience the challenges from the bloodline. I pray that the giant of your father's house will not kill your purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. If you don't understand that life is in circles, you may miss your season of blessings. The man at the pool of Bethsaida for 38 years. When the enemy sees that a blessing is coming your way, they bring problems in order to deny you from getting the blessing. As a child of God, you need to be sensitive at all times so that you don't fall to the tricks of the devil. Now the question is, what is a circle? It's a series of events that are regularly repeated in the same order or a course of events or operations that reoccur regularly and usually lead one back to the starting point. And what is a pattern? Genesis 32, chapter 32, verses 22 to 30, Genesis 26 from verse 1 to 16. It's a regular way in which something happens. It is a reliable sample of traits, acts, tendencies, or other observable characteristics of a person or a group. Now, how to put a stop to this negative circle and evil pattern? Identify the circle and the negative circles first. Some circles in the family can be untimely death, rise and crash, failure at the age of breakthrough, spirit of error, marrying wrong wife or marrying wrong husband, nothing moves until you speak. Mark chapter 11 verse 23. You must determine to change the pattern or enforce a change on the circle or pattern. Example is Jacob, Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. You must break up from the habits you have gained from your father's house. You must say it out that your case is different from the usual occurrences from your background. You must possess the spirit of a fighter that is battled, that is battled the matter in the place of prayer. You must fight to win and to tie up your circle in the name of Jesus Christ. So, child of God, wake up. Make your mind to be strong. God will be your refuge in the storm. Hallelujah. When you are ready to fight the enemy, God will supply you with strength. Try to engage the power of His Spirit to break the circle. There are so many examples in the Bible where children of God engage this circle and break it. Like Acts chapter 10 verse 38, Revelation chapter 12 verse 1. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 Engage the power from the blood of Jesus Engage the power from the word of God Involve the power of fasting Isaiah 40 verse 31 It is possible to be free as if the devil does not exist If you can fast and pray Set yourself free from the limitations of the mind That is prison of the mind so many people are into prison of their mind. They don't believe that good things will happen in their life. So it's wrong. It's a circle. Some people are so used to their circle or problem so much that they have accepted it as their fate. Never. Do not accept it, child of God. It's not your fate. God loves you so much. I pray that you will be free from any chance of your mind. Every limitation you have set on yourself, knowingly or unknowingly will be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to conclude on this. To everything in life, there is an end. The end of every negative circle and evil pattern is now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. You are bailed out totally and completely. Hallelujah. Thanks and God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Shalom. May the Almighty God always guide you in your prayers and everything you do. In Jesus' name.